which includes home shopping and telemarketing. So this presentation is done by four members, which includes Shayan Guha Biswa, Sangani Gde, Soham De Sarkar as me, and Shobik Pal. Here are the contents of our presentation, which includes we are going to start with e-marketing and then followed by e-marketing and its importance. Then we have types of e-marketing, followed by an example which describes the strategies in e-marketing. Then we have home shopping. Next, we have effects of home shopping. Next, we have telemarketing. Next, the types of activities and followed by advantage and disadvantage simultaneously. So let us first understand what is e-marketing. So e-marketing basically is the electronic marketing which commonly refers to as internet marketing, web marketing, digital marketing or online marketing is a practice of advertising online. So e-marketing is a practice of advertising a good or service online in order to reach the target market through gadgets such as social media and all. And e-marketing comprises not only advertising online but also advertising through emails and cellular channels. You could see that whenever you are in an email or we have some email and you can have a very good view that uh, some marketing top up uh, appears in your email that it is a type of e-marketing also. So it, uh, they are, it makes use of number of technologies to facilitate client connection between businesses. Next we have importance of e-marketing. So it is a crucial for marketers to connect with customers through the appropriate channels in today's world where the majority of works and transactions take place online. Globally, people utilize smartphone, tablets, smart TV and computers to do business and transactions in goods. E-marketing aids in connecting with your audience to both this and more convenient, con conventional offline means. When compared to offline marketing, marketers can monitor results and adjust messaging accordingly, which can be quite efficient. Next, my friend will take the lead. Thank you, Sean. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Shainbo Vishwas and now we'll discuss the topic of types of e-marketing. So there are several types of e-marketing. So there is article marketing, affiliate marketing, video marketing, email marketing or newsletters, blogging, content marketing, podcasts and webinars. Next slide. So the examples are, an excellent illustration would be a 360 degree marketing campaign which is used by businesses to spread the message using both direct and indirect marketing channels. Newsletters, movies, podcasts, and webinars are all examples of remarketing that are targeted directly at potential customers. So for an example, we can take the case study of Spotify also, where we can all listen music and it gives a music ecosystem to us, but we are also we get a lot of ads in the form of e-marketing. And while using our Google also, there are many websites in Google which also shows us ads of various products and that is also an example of e-marketing. So, all examples of e-marketing that are targeted directly at potential customers are through these websites and through these platforms. Additionally, buyers learn about the business and its products through indirect marketing channels like throughout uh, leadership, the content marketing and social media connections such as Instagram also or Facebook where we can uh, market our products and services. These channels are entirely available online, so these both direct and indirect marketing both are available on the online platforms, so that's why the name e-marketing. Next slide. So next we come to the term home shopping. So the term home shopping is also referred to as e-commerce. It is used to describe the electronic retailing or home shopping channel sector. Unlike traditional shopping which entails going to physical and motor businesses and shopping malls, Home shopping allows customers to buy things in the comfort of their own homes. We also get a large variety of uh, inventory or choices that we can make our make our shopping choices because as it is not physically present, it is only present on the online and is delivered to us on the basis of availability and on demand. So it, we also get a large number of choices and many platforms so we can choose our products from. Online shopping also gets, uh, helps us to read reviews of other uh, customers who have already rated the product that we are uh, planning to buy. Online shopping phone orders in response to adver adverts in print and electronic media and mail or phone orders from catalogs are the three main methods of home shopping. Next slide. From here on, my friend Shagnik will take the lead. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Sian. And now, the effects of home shopping. Uh, it is improved viability of neighborhood stores, decrease in the feasibility of tra traditional high street shopping, 
it enhances alternatives for clients and social exclusion effects now come to telemarketing telemarketing is the practice of selling products or services directed to prospective clients over the phone the internet or fax telemarketers or increasingly automated phone calls or robo calls can conduct telemarketing telemarketing is the practice of selling products or services to prospective clients directly through the phone or over the internet Outbound calls, inbound calls, lead generation calls, and sales calls are the four most typical telemarketing call types. Many consumers dislike telemarketing because it can be obtrusive and include spam calls. Now, types of telemarketing activities. Outbound calls. Companies use outbound telemarketing calls, commonly referred to as cold calls, to aggressively contact potential and current consumers. inbound telemarketing calls the basis of these telemarketing calls is inbound product of or service queries brought on by marketing or sales initiative lead generation is the process of gathering information on the demographic interests and profiles of possible clients and the sales market sales uh, really marketing this persuasive action is carried out by telemarketers who have received sales trainings on the phone they try to seal the deal and the next part will be discussed by my friend shovik thank you thank you shagnik uh, so now i'll be discussing about the advantages of e-marketing so the danger of breaking the laws increases since the customer lists are not always accurate and updated customer databases can be highly be can be highly expensive if executed poorly telemarketing has the potential to replace a sales sales team which could cause unfavorable attitudes among persons the training stops can be time the uh, telemarketing the telemarketing uh, uh, has a negative reputation that could harm the company of reputation next slide so here uh, we come to the disadvantages of e marketing this e marketing offer a more involved in customer sales experience quickly establish a rapport with their clients more effectively explain the technical concerns and create appointments to expand our sales zone sell from a distance more customers can be reached than through personal sales and calls the market to both current and potential consumers to get uh, quantifiable results so with this uh, these are the references which helped us making this ppt and uh, this uh, brings us to the end of our ppt thank you thank you all very good